<sighs> it's kind of the feeling I want going into this video and actually throughout the whole thing. Mainly because it is March. I mean, it was March, what, like, on Monday, but I didn't recognize that. So I'm going to do that now, and it's a good tie into the weekend. As soon as March 1st hits, I'm immediately in golf mode, and I want it to be nice. I mean, I love winter, like I always said, but as soon as it becomes March, I want, I want to golf. And I figured a nice way to prepare myself for that and to relax our way into the weekend. I figured I'd search for something spring-related, and I found this one. Lahi's Mountains and Valleys, and it's apparently supposed to be a nice idyllic view of mountains and valleys. And I figured it'd be a nice thing to drive on as we relax. However, as I sit here looking at what potentially could be New Mexico and or Texas, um, yeah, New Mexico Department of Transportation, I'm not really getting that vibe so much on this construction road. But anyway, just take in. I mean, it is pretty seeing those mountains over there. And I probably would enjoy driving this. I, I, I'm like picturing the scene right now. If I had like a car with a nice camera somewhere, a drone or something following it, I'd be driving down the road here and it would have the camera like on this side of me as it would get the car and it would be up against this backdrop of these nice mountains. But that's just me. Um, this is what I find relaxing. I'm, I'm sure there's people who find relaxation in forms of like meditation doing certain things like the ritual of um knitting yoga karate um biking cantina nightclub interesting looks just like a graveyard for um what are they called hotel ballroom chairs and other things newdorf truck repair some people think repairing a car is nice and it's meditative and relaxing it's a ritual you know the steps involved you do it enough time i'm just looking to see the world's largest pistachio <laughs> i want to like meet this mcginn person oh this is probably it who thought I, I, I fucking love pistachios, guys, and I want to build a place that's all about, oh, well, this is probably a nightclub, that's all about pistachios. Like, I'm going to be the person who has the biggest pistachio, and, I'm gonna, and everyone from all around are going to travel the world to this tiny little place uh, in New Mexico. Because god damn it, they love pistachios. And they want to see one too. I don't know if I'm actually going to. I, I, I'm just hope. Okay, yeah, I figured. This is a bit of a lie. Because, I mean, look, it's a fake. It's not a real pistachio. If it was like a living nut that somebody made. Or grew, I should say. And they put it on display, then I would buy it. But since this is just some guy who built this fake fiberglass, probably pistachio, it doesn't hit the same way. But I'm criticizing someone's very large pistachio way too much. And what should have been a relaxing drive, I focused way too much on a large fake fiberglass pistachio. Hopefully this one won't be the same. Maybe I should create a map. But it, it probably wouldn't be fair. This is probably New Mexico. Uh, not New Mexico. Why did I say New Mexico when I meant Brazil? I'm going to hit home because there was that highway marker that I'm trying to see. There it is. BR-364. I have a bit of a bias when it's coming to... Oh, when I think mountains and valleys, I'm just thinking Alps. But, you know, that's not fair. 
there's other mountains and valleys throughout the entire world that I'm not even thinking of. BR, is there a BR state? There's a Bahia, but that is not it. Goya, Sao Paulo. Okay, that is not. So now, what I need to do is look for 364. Uh, and will I find it is 364. Look at that. Now, mountains, the closest thing I would see to mountains is probably over here, but does 364 continue? It does, and this is a long-ass highway. Um, how mountainous is Brazil? You know, if I was to assume where the mountains are, I'm just going off of um, the, the continent in total where it's just mountains here, nothing else here. So there's a bit of an upslope. Up Probably closer to this side. It is 44 kilometers, and I don't know which way the uh, highway is ending. It looks like it ends. No, it doesn't. It's still going. I think it ends here. Nope. So it ends down there, I'm assuming. Unless, like, for some reason, unless oh, that's the 101. All right, so I'm going to say it's over here. Like that. I'm either going to be right or absolutely wrong. Because, you know, that's a little bit of a hill, and the rest is just fucking flat. So maybe I'm wrong. But I'm going to mosey on down. I spent way too long just staring at that one spot. But I, I, I saw the BR. I knew that was probably going to be my best guess. For figuring out where I am. But. If I had to rate. This mountain and valley drive. It's too hot. And I picture. It's the bit of the jungle. Bit of the jungle too. Yeah. That was my Irish. It was probably terrible. Yeah see. It was. Hit or miss with that one. And I very much missed. So maybe the kilometer marker was. As soon as it crossed over into the province maybe that's how it was marked because there's definitely more than 44 kilometers worth of road left so i guess we're learning a little bit more about brazil highway markings i'll take things i never knew i cared about for 100 alex actually it's not alex anymore he's dead see this is more of what i was picturing in my head that uh, i forget what it's called when you do that test Word association. When I was thinking mountains and valleys, I'm thinking driving through something like this, where if this was in the winter, this would probably be a very unused road. See, this, this is a switchback over some going down a mountain. This feels very much western U.S., if not Alaska. See, it's a lot of switchbacks. How well is this road? Now we got a little bit of... A little bit of um, erosion on the asphalt. <clears throat> that might be like a thing from plowing. Maybe the plow just gouged into the uh, road a little bit. I don't know. But this would be fun to drive. These are the types of road. I mean, it's, this is my meditative thing. Is driving down these roads. Am I going? No, I'm not. It was just switch back the other way. Driving these roads is what I find so relaxing. I don't know what it is about driving that I enjoy so much. That's a Verizon truck. That is not going to tell me where I am. And I, I, I had a thought. Oh, here we go. Chemise, Mountain Road, Riceland, and Redway. Not helpful. I had a thought of what would happen, you know, a lot of car companies are moving off into electric cars. And the one thing I know about electric cars is they don't have a gearbox. There's no shifting. And that's one of the things I very much enjoy doing when I'm driving is driving a standard. I enjoy the process. Highway 101. All right. So Highway 101. Isn't the 101? Yeah. We're in California, and I think we're up north here. 
Is a Shamis Mountain going to pop up somewhere? Or we're close to uh, Highway 101. So maybe we're over this way is a bit. A lot of switchbacks, but <clears throat> I'll just click like here because maybe, maybe we're around this. Speed limit 35. Um, I don't know if they actually make the shiftable electric cars. I mean, it's very much an aesthetic thing, but that's one of the things I enjoy about driving. This car, I think that's a California plate. It's the white one with the blue letters and the red California on the top. Oh, I ran out of time. I was going to look. Black Sands Beach Trailhead. This looks like a cool little hike area here. I think I would want a specific, uh, I would not drive my car because one thing about driving a mountains is they can age your car super fast with all that uphill, downhill, bad on the brakes, can be rough on the engine as well. But uh, that drive would look like it's so much fun. The window down driving on that would be so, so nice. This is Europe. Like without looking at the plates, this is Europe and or Europe, they're expanding the road. European colonized location of the world. Or the, maybe not colonized, but so much influenced the cars here. These are vehicles you don't really see, at least in North America and or the U.S. And they got the Slasher Studios, DK. So we're uh, Germany, I believe. On them, Van Derk. Although DK, was that a D? Could that be an SK? I'm seeing that O with the line in it and then that AE thing makes, yeah, yeah, okay. I think we are in Denmark. Funderholm, because they do the red letters with white background. I don't know if there's any mountains in Denmark. Does this count? You need mountains to have a valley, right? You can't have one without the other. But maybe we're closer down here. I'll just click like close to the border and uh, see if I can't maybe get. Now, see, this is a nice drive. Those pine trees, super tall on either side of the road, probably has a nice pine smell to it. Doing those nose memory things, getting triggered if I smell the pine. Be like, oh, I'm in the woods. What is this? A school? The Kunst Center. Kunst? Centret for Borgs who make silk badly. And apparently they won an Oscar. Very large Oscar. I guess they made them very comically large in the olden times. And I guess as the years have went on, they've made them smaller. We're next to a swamp pond. Very nice houses. These flat slanted roofs, not very good for snow. See, these are more the we're prepared for winter sloped roofs. These are nice houses. I like the, the whatever this style is called. It's like a single color, very wide, uh, not mirrors, windows. Those are the words. Very sharp, sleek. The problem is trying to like uh, come up with words to describe these type of buildings. It's more like if I could convey, oh, Jesus, we were very much off. No, so Borg. We were very much off. I mean, I got the country right, but that, that was it. Where if I was able to convey the emotion better than the word, I think I would be able to describe it better. But I can't. At least not yet. Moving right along. Tropical. Hawaii, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Whenever I see these trees here, I mean, these are technically trees. They're almost like very large ferns. Like if, if you looked at like the genealogy is the wrong word. 
between ferns and what this are. I feel like ferns maybe evolved into these. But anyway, there's a video of some kickboxer who one other thing he was like doing either a training or a show off video where he sat there and just continuously shin kicked one of those types of palms until he basically chopped it in half. And I can only imagine the amount of time it takes to like micro fracture your bones to basically make it this steel club in your leg to knock down a tree. And then I imagine being kicked by that, and then I don't like it. Oh, like, I very rarely watch, um, oh, we're doing some laundry, it looks like, any MMA. I mean, I didn't, it, it never really, like, interests me. But the ones I watched, it's one of the first things I think. I was like, if I got hit by that punch specifically, I think I would just be done. I'd probably be dead. Like, oh, God, that hurts. I got halfway through my time, and this is probably more Southeast Asia than it is Hawaii. Um, I'm not seeing flags anywhere, so I'm a little concerned. Well, but this is very much not. Oh, there was a typhoon for Haiyan and Typhoon Yolanda. I feel like I've heard Typhoon Haiyan, but now I couldn't actually tell you where. I mean, typhoons are a uh, Indian Ocean, Southeast Asian seasonal thing. I mean, there's typhoons also in uh, Japan. I mean, I think Hawaii gets them, although they may be just like a change of vernacular thing. You might just call them hurricanes, but. I mean, I'm not a weather person. 40 seconds. Selling lots of cigarettes here. I mean, they're using English words, letters, I should say. I mean, maybe I'll just say this is the Philippines. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep, Republic of the Philippines. All right. Leyte. I think Le Leyte is a province. So I'm going to say Typhoon might have been hit over here. It's either... Province of, yeah, province of Layette. I don't know where Layette is. Is this Layette? No. And I'm not going to get it in a second. Okay, I was close. Well, Layette's right there. If I had eyeballs and I was looking, I would have seen it, but I don't. But there we go. Well, my potential drive through idyllic mountains and valleys turned out to be. Ah. Uh, Feeling a little bit more relaxed. Hopefully when this goes live on Wednesday, Wednesday, on Friday, I'll even be more so. But there's your blessing. Thank you all for watching everything this week. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, and or complaints, tips, hints, suggestions, anything of those kinds, put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you on them. Go enjoy your weekend. Come back Monday for that game-related video that I lost in the challenge. I don't know if lost, just got under half. That'll be going up on Monday. The cook video will be on Tuesday. Geoguesser on Wednesday. Then Friday, another Geoguesser. And then the week's over. And then it starts again. Cyclical. Anyway, go enjoy your weekend. I'm going to try to. See you.